Well, we know that patients undergoing perovascular surgery have increased risk of post-operative MIs and death due to coexisting coronary artery disease. And many studies describe that early mortality after major vascular surgery is up to 3%, and for CLA patients, one year mortality is 20%, and at four years, half of these patients dying. So, in the same time, coronary artery disease is often unrecognized since patients are sedentary and often have no chest pain or typical cardiac symptoms. So, it's no surprise why current clinical practice guidelines recommend no pre-op cardiac testing in these patients when they don't have particular cardiac symptoms as testing is unlikely to alter patient management and prospective trials have shown no benefit from preoperative coronary revascularization. So, and objective uh, of our study was to find new method how we could reduce this mortality after uh, vascular revascularization. And recently, new uh, uh, technology, new non-invasive tool, which is uh, coronary CTA-derived fractional flow reserve, known as the FFR CT, being uh, developed to recognize functionality of uh, coronary artery disease. So uh, we know uh, the gold standard for coronary artery uh, lesions and detection of uh, functional uh, stenosis of coronary artery is FFR, which is invasive technology done on time of angiography. This has been the gold standard. And this new technology, FFR CT, is non-invasive and correlates very well with uh, invasive FFR. So, uh, so far this technology has been uh, C marked and has FDA clearance and been used around the globe in more than 40,000 patients. Nevertheless, it's never been tested for peripheral surgery patients uh, who undergo uh, vascular surger surgery. And objective of our study was to use and to, to try to determine the silent coronary ischemia using this new and non-invasive technology. Well, we conducted a prospective study in patients with no cardiac history who were admitted for perovascular surgery and patients had standard pre-op cardiac evaluation and uh, additional underwent coronary CTA and FFR CT uh, analysis. So, and consecutive patients uh, were taking the study from October 2017 for uh, on consecutive 18 months all patients were included in the study. And study patients were compared with a control group with the consecutive patients uh, who underwent perovascular surgery 18 months prior to October 2017. So all these patients underwent regular coronary examination for non-symptomatic patients. So, and uh, the endpoints of the study were uh, silent coronary ischemia uh, found in study group by coronary CT and FFR uh, CT and um, MACE at 30 days, uh, six months and one year. MACE, it's a myocardial infarction, cardiac death or unplanned coronary revascularization. Well, uh, the summary of the results was as patients undergoing perovascular surgery have a high prevalence, up to 68% of unsuspected silent coronary ischemia. Nonetheless, clinically indicated vascular surgery was performed safely in most patients with multidisciplinary team approach. And the second major result was postoperative coronary angiography of patients with silent coronary ischemia and selective coronary revascularization reduced cardiac death and MIs and improved one year survival compared to vascular surgery patients with no cardiac symptoms receiving just standard postoperative care. Yeah, in conclusion, 
preoperative evaluation of patients undergoing perivascular surgery using FFRCT can identify patients with unsuspected silent coronary ischemia and this can help guide a multidisciplinary team approach to reduce postoperative cardiac complications and improve survival compared to standard patient care. And favorable results of staged peripheral and coronary revascularization in this study suggest the need for prospective controlled studies to further define the role of this new technology, coronary CTA, FFRCT, in the evaluation and treatment of peripheral vascular surgery patients. I think this is the first study when we evaluating non-invasively uh, silent uh, myocardial ischemia for asymptomatic patients who are undergoing peripheral vascular surgery. And uh, I think unique is that we use uh, new technology, uh, uh, FFRCT, which is uh, data derived from coronary CTA uh, showing uh, functionality of coronary lesions for those patients. And unique is this study because this might change in future our guidelines how we are evaluating peripheral vascular surgery patients before the, the, the procedures. So far, we didn't have very good tools when, when in an invasive way we could evaluate those patients. We know the ACG, velo ergometry, uh, echo cannot reveal this silent coronary ischemia. All other methods are most invasive, like FFR on time of angiography. And this would be the first reliable method how we could evaluate these patients. And if we could treat properly these patients out of the vascular surgery, we could save a lot of lives and we might uh, reduce the number of MIs, cardiac deaths in one year, two years, and I hope our results will show that in three and five years this will be even more significant compared with the other patients who did not underwent this kind of examination. Uh, not yet, but definitely after this sort of pilot project we need a randomized trial to prove our hypothesis, our theory and if we will have a randomized tri trial showing what preoperative uh, coronary CTA with FFRCT improve uh, perioperative mortality and uh, long-term results after surgery and improve uh, surveillance of these patients, this may change our current guidelines here in EU and uh, US.